Greetings guys, this is Stokecraft and today I'll be showing you the exact game that happened after the 10 kills game in the Panzer 1C. This game will be about the insane capabilities of the OI Experimental and you guys have seen some amazing results on YouTube uh, and amazing World of Tanks replays about the OI Experimental after it got released into the game. This thing was able to get some ridiculous results and I wanted to pick this tank up too because uh, I really like the look of this tank so what I did um, I free XP'd all the lower tier tanks and I immediately got my way into this video uh, in this video in this tank I immediately bought the OI experimental and uh, yeah I really like this tank because it just just crazy fast and it also has all right armor but for now as you can see we are driving uh, up this flank on the map Karelia assault so we only have 10 minutes to finish this game off really important thing to know about assault um, I'm playing in the platoon again yogurt has joined me in my platoon because we didn't quit the platoon because I said yesterday what we were going to build up the tiers and after we did the tier 3 game we jumped up to tier 5, I chose my um, OI Experimental and Yo Yogurt has chosen his um, Archer tank to drive in but he has not brought it in a very good position for this tank. I can see the BT-7 artillery trying to take Yogurt out and I defend him but then I see a tree fall and I realize that it's too late for Yogurt to save him. I tried to save him. But my attempt doesn't go how I wanted to because he gets set on fire and gets taken out. So well now, I managed to kill an SU-85 with a snapshot because I was very worried about him going to hit me. The SU-85B has got a really good gun for a tier 4 tank destroyer. So I didn't want to take a shot from him. I just took a snapshot and it worked. So shot in the T-67 here. I'm just going to take a shot because yeah, uh, I'm going to going to do 200 damage more than he's going to do to me and he randomly keeps driving in front of me so that I can take him out no problem of course did that and now we've got this M8A1 here who gets taken out as well so the scores are 5 to 8 for the enemy team a lot of the enemy um, have gone towards the other flank or have stayed in the base um, I was really worried about the Panzer SFLs on the enemy team because I want to advance towards the base But then I realized okay fuck it There is only seven minutes left on the game and if I want to make some good movements I have to go now so my goal is to get into this dip here as quickly as I can Don't know what that KV-1 is doing. He's exposing himself himself to a lot of danger, but I'm not going to expose myself to those uh, guns that the Panzer SFLs carry Anyway, going into the dip, I am safe now. I will be going up here again to try and engage the Panzer SFLs. And they get spotted and they're even more dangerous because they're in a platoon. But alright. The KV-1 is doomed. Yeah, what did you expect? It's getting shot up by two Panzer SFLs. Anyway, I'm making my way up onto the slope. And at the moment, I've got 3 kills, 800 damage. And it's 7 to 11 for the enemy team. So, there's a lot going on at the moment. I really have to kill these Panzer SFLs. Oh my god, there's one spotted. Oh my god, he drives by really quickly. So I have to take a snapshot, but my snapshot misses by a country mile. So, no hit for me. Uh, luckily, I've got cover uh, behind this rock here. So, no other tanks that are standing in their base will be able to shoot me, luckily. But the thing is now, the other Panzer SFL is around there somewhere and he might plan an attack on me. And this Panzer SFL is just sitting behind the rock and is just waiting for me to make a move. The thing is, he's delaying the game. And in an assault, if I don't kill all the enemy vehicles or cap their base, we will lose. So I'm going to have to make a move soon. Because, yeah, staying back here is not going to move. Then I decide, okay, just go for it. But that was a really bad decision as the other Panzer SFL puts a shot into me. But then the Panzer SFL uh, peeks out and I can put a shot into him. He puts a shot into me. Yeah, that was uh, unavoidable. 
He put a shot onto me and now he does something weird. He peeks out again and I can kill him. And now, oh my god, the Panzer Reservel comes in. Oh no, turn the tank, turn the tank. No, 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 angle the tank. Oh my god, shoot him. Oh my god, that was so freaking close. I left my ass off when that happened, actually, because I managed to kill that thing because I should have been dead by far. Anyway, two very dangerous tanks coming in, but I decided to kill the artillery. He can uh, shoot me over the rock, so I decided to kill him first. I'm already up to a Top Gun medal, and now the KV-1 drives in. I have to do damage to this guy. I can't hang around and let him come af uh, after me, because then he will, of course, be able to... Uh, put more consistent damage into me. Valentine AT makes a very big mistake, which cost him his tank. And the KV-1 just randomly waits behind the rock for me to kill his teammate. So what you're gonna do now, Mr. KV-1? Yeah, we're going to fight now. Okay, yeah, yeah, you can come out first, mate. Oh, side armor, nice. I'll take it. Eight kills, guys. How ridiculous is this? Is this? Sorry, did is a Dutch word. Anyway, how ridiculous is this? This was the game, uh, the second game that I've played in an entire month, after a game in which I got ten kills. So yeah, you can see me say it in the chat as well. What the hell is this? I'm so confused at this moment, but I'm also thrilled because I have another opportunity to kill another. Of, uh, to carry another game. The only thing that I need to do is kill the enemy KV-1. He's also a yellow player. He's got a really good amount of games played. And he's got four kills as well. So he really does know what he's doing. But as you can see, people in the chat tell me that he's on 260 health. And what do you need to know about the OI Experimental? The OI Experimental has got 300 alpha damage. So it is going to be very unlikely that I roll low and don't kill him but that chance is still there of course so i decide to lo load a premium round because i really don't want to bounce my shot if i get the first shot off i am of course driving towards the um, eastern side of this map because the kv1 uh, kv1 has lost been spotted there so i'm driving uh, after this stopping in this bush to try and spot him but i don't spot him so it is very likely that he is driven down this pass here along uh, past the A line the A line so I'm just going in here I'm slowly going to peek out here and see if he's there is he there oh my god he's there he turns his turret I put a shot on him but it's a low roll oh my god can you believe it it was a low roll and he managed to kill me at the end are you freaking kidding me he was on let's count this he was on 265 health and my shot went low um, from 200 alpha of 300 alpha damage to 253. Can you freaking believe it? I missed out on a roll of 8 health to finish this game off in style and carry another game. But Aaron Jesus wasn't on my side. I low rolled. And that meant that the KV-1 managed to kill me. Anyway, I was super happy to pick this up. It was 8 kills, 2,400 damage almost in a tier 5 game in the OI Experimental. Which is just ridiculous. Especially after a game in which I just got 10 kills. It was just mental. Okay, I have to take into account that the OI Experimental is a very good tank nowadays. And of course, the OI Experimental has really, really big alpha damage. Which makes it even better at tier 5. And the matchmaking was very good again. But although this was good ma this yeah, it was good matchmaking and I was driving a very good tank again. Getting 8 kills after you just got 10 kills in another game is just ridiculous. So guys, let's take a look at the post-game stats of this game. In this game, I got 1308 experience earned and I earned myself over 29,000 credits this game. I got a first class medal, also getting the Fire for Effect token, the Duelist token and the Bruiser token. I got the Redley Walters medal as I got 8 kills in a tier 5 game. I got the High Caliber medal for doing the most damage on both teams and a Top Gun medal for getting 6 kills. Unfortunately this was a defeat as the KV-1 on the enemy team managed to kill me at the end of the game. But anyway, I am really happy with this result. 
I by far did the most damage on both teams. Of course, also by the fact that the OI Experimental gets ridiculous alpha damage. I got the most experience on my team, but the KV-1 was able to get just a little bit more XP than I did. Again, it's just ridiculous that I was able to get such a result after a game uh, in which I got 10 kills. Although it was a tier 3 tank, yes, it was a very good tank and a very good matchmaking. The same for this game, the OI Experiment was an extremely powerful tank in a uh, very good matchup in this case. But I couldn't have known that I would get 10 kills in one game and almost 9 in the other. So guys, I hope you liked this video. I just wanted to show you guys something absolutely ridiculous. Please leave a like as I did put it all of time in making both of these videos. And perhaps leave a comment to show me your support. During these holidays, I'm planning on making a lot of videos. So stay tuned. And I will hopefully see you at the next video as well. Bye guys.